Introducing the Everest Deformity Spinal System from K2M, Complex Spine Innovations. This animation demonstrates an adult lumbar deformity correction using K2M's Everest Platform Pedicle Screw technology. The patient should be positioned as appropriate for a posterior approach, taking care to preserve or improve sagittal alignment of the spine. For detailed steps on patient positioning and screw site preparation, please reference the Everest Degenerative Animation. After the pedicle pathway has been prepared and proper screw length and diameter have been determined, select the appropriate implant and load the Everest Deformity Screw Inserter. The inserter will work with both polyaxial and uniplanar Everest screws. To load the Everest Deformity Screw Inserter, grasp the implant by the shaft of the screw and apply a downward force to engage the screw into the hexalobe fitting of the screw inserter shaft. Thread the silver knob in a clockwise direction until the implant is securely attached to the inserter. Pull the silver knob toward the handle to lock the inserter onto the screw. The word locked will be visible. To disengage the inserter, pull down on the silver knob. The word unlocked will be visible and gently turn in a counterclockwise direction and remove the screw inserter from the surgical field. Once the Everest screws are inserted, it may be necessary to realign the implant heads prior to rod insertion. The polyaxial or uniplanar housing of the screw can be manipulated with the screw head adjuster. The Everest screw has a posable friction head that will hold position when adjusted with the screw head adjuster. After the screws are aligned in the desired plane, the appropriate rod size and material is selected. The Everest screw can accommodate both a 5.5 and 6.0 mm diameter rod in both titanium alloy and cobalt chrome. If necessary, the rod cutter can be used to cut the rod to the appropriate length as determined by the surgeon. Insert the rod into the end of the rod cutter and squeeze the handles together. To extend the handles, pull the handle engagement toward the cutter head and pull the handle in the opposite direction. Be sure to leave appropriate rod overhang, taking into account compression, distraction, and other manipulations. A French rod bender may be used to contour the rods to the desired amount of lordosis or kyphosis. The rod may be bent to the desired curvature, small, medium, or large, by pulling out and rotating the dial. The deformity rod benders may be used to contour the rod into the desired sagittal and or coronal plane. Insert the rod into the appropriate hole and support the inserted rod by applying pressure while inserting the rod into the opposite bender. Use the distal portion of the benders for optimal mechanical advantage. The rod is then bent to the desired contour as determined by the surgeon. Once the rods are contoured into the desired shape, gently place rods into the heads of the screw. For reductions up to 60 millimeters into Everest screws, the Everest base camp tubes may be used. The base camp tubes can be attached to the screw head by applying an axial downward force. Multiple base camp tubes may be used on adjacent segments to facilitate correction. For quick reduction, press the release button on the base camp tube and slide the base camp tube down to meet the rod. If gradual or more powerful reduction is desired, rotate the proximal end of the base camp tube in a clockwise direction. If additional torque or a ratchet mechanism is needed to persuade the rod, a T-handle can be connected to the proximal end of the tube using a quick connect hex chuck. Once the base camp tube is in its proper position, turn the proximal handle in a clockwise direction until desired reduction has been achieved and the rod is fully seated. The Everest set screw may be passed through the center of the base camp tube and threaded into the implant housing using the provisional driver to provisionally tighten the construct. To disengage the base camp tube, press the release button and pull upward while twisting to disengage from the implant housing. For long constructs or deformity correction, place the base camp tubes onto the heads of the screws. These will provide translation of the screws and spine to the rod later. Pre-bend the rods in the physiological sagittal plane and introduce the rod or rods through the tubes. Place additional base camp tubes over the rod and onto the heads of the screws as needed and rotate the rod into the sagittal plane. This is performed by using the ratcheting rod rotation wrench and or a vice grip. To reverse the direction of the ratchet on the rotation wrench, 
Turn the proximal dial 180 degrees. Sequential reduction may be performed as previously stated. Once all base camp tubes are maximally reduced, the rod will be captured in each of the screw heads. The Everest set screw may be passed through the center of the base camp tube and threaded into the implant housing using the provisional driver. This will provisionally tighten the construct once the rod is fully seated. To disengage the base camp tube, press the release button and pull upward to release the reduction. Then twist to disengage the instrument from the implant housing. Compression and distraction may be performed with the Everest implants while the set screws are provisionally tightened and loosened. Begin proximal to the apex and compress or distract by releasing the set screw one or two turns. Once the desired amount of compression and distraction has been achieved, it is necessary to provisionally tighten the Everest set screw to hold the implant into position. Once the rod has been placed in the implants and provisionally tightened, the rods may be contoured in situ. To achieve additional correction in the sagittal plane, use the right and left in situ benders. To achieve additional correction in the coronal plane, use the right and left medial lateral benders. Final tightening of the Everest implants is achieved using the one-piece anti-torque alignment tube and an Everest torque wrench. Introduce the torque wrench tip into the Everest set screw and then slide the one-piece anti-torque alignment tube down and engage the tulip head of the screw. Final tightening is achieved when the line on the torque indicating wrench aligns with the arrow. The Everest Deformity Spinal System from K2M, Complex Spine Innovations.